Some people claim the KHOU 11 News I team has uncovered a conspiracy of the highest order, and this involves radiation in your drinking water. Last night, we told you how, for years, Texas state officials hid the amount of radiation they were finding in tap water. And tonight, the 11 News I team reports it appears the state's top politicians have been in on the plan. Even the governor was informed, and investigative reporter Mark Greenblatt is here now with more. Mark? Greg Lucy, for months we fought with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, trying to get access to these documents and emails like this. And it took the Attorney General to finally get them released. And it was only then that we discovered, perhaps, what the TCEQ didn't want us or you to know. It's a conspiracy at the TCEQ of the highest order. Tom Smith of the consumer advocacy group Public Citizen is alarmed. The documents have indicted the management of this commission in a massive cover up. Alarmed because of something we uncovered. To convince people that our water is safe to drink when it is in fact not. Recently, we reported how the state of Texas hid from the public just how much radiation was really in our drinking water, cutting and lowering the amounts detected in government lab tests. But now, because of these documents, we know that some of the state's most prominent politicians knew all about it. What was the first sign? Short throat. Brenda Haynes remembers when her doctor found it. He checked me. He's like, wait, there's a lump here. There's a little... And I'm like, what? A lump. And after numerous tests, it was clear that just 30 years old, Brenda Haynes had thyroid cancer. I mean, it's just, what can you... What can you do? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. With the help of surgery, Brenda survived. But today, she's angry. Do you feel like they put you at risk? Yes, I do. You see, Brenda's neighborhood gets its water from Harris County Municipal Utility District number 105, where state tests originally showed their water having more radiation than allowed by federal law. But each year, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality stepped in and improperly lowered the actual test results by always subtracting each test's margin of error, sometimes lowering the result by 50 percent, often below the legal radiation limit. And so for years, MUD 105 never warned the community with a notice like this about their real problem. We were put at more risk than what we thought. And while they don't know if their tap water caused her cancer, Brenda's husband says when his wife was sick, drinking any radiation was the last thing she needed. If years ago you would have been told, would you have been making different choices for what you would be drinking? Well, absolutely. What's worse? The EPA had already told states not to lower water radiation results in this December 2000 federal rule. And now, our uncovered emails show what happened next was not a mistake. Take this note from a TCEQ manager saying there may have been some EPA guidance on not subtracting, but this has been the practice in Texas since day one. And this option of not subtracting was thoroughly discussed with the commissioners, the top leadership of the agency. And so we were directed to maintain the current methodology for subtracting. And this TCEQ report to the Texas Water Advisory Council tells us why, that maintaining the subtraction will eliminate approximately 35 violations, keeping the water providers in those communities off the EPA's radar. And this same report went to the state speaker of the House, Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst, and even Governor Rick Perry. And yet the practice continued. I believe local first, state second, federal government third. Meet Probably Kathleen Hartnett White, the chair of the TCEQ commission. At the time, commissioners decided to ignore the feds. As my memory serves me, that made incredibly good sense. Because while White is not a scientist, she says those she did consult with thought the EPA standards were too protective and costly. We did not believe the science of health effects justified EPA setting the standard where they did. But in fact, the EPA regulations have been supported by wide-ranging studies like this work by the National Academy of Sciences, written by more than a dozen of the world's top radiation scientists. 
but White insists... I have far more trust in the vigor of the science by which TCQ assesses than I do EPA. But instead of fixing water testing results, why didn't the agency take on the EPA's rule openly in court? There are legal challenges um, because of law, not because of science, that are almost impossible w to win. And so, White says, trust her. Texas knows best. But what if you're wrong? Well, if you, if, when you have, there's all kinds of ways. But what if you're wrong and EPA was right? Well, I, I don't see, what do you mean? What if you're wrong and EPA is right about there being a danger at that level? It would be, it would be regrettable. Now, later on in our interview, White claimed that the EPA's rule against subtracting was optional. The public citizen says that's simply not true. Lucy Craig. All right, so have you talked with the governor or lieutenant governor about this? We've been trying to get in touch with them. I can tell you that the governor's office did tell us that he expects the TCEQ to follow all laws and regulations that are on the books and says the TCEQ began doing that in 2008 after an EPA audit. But when we asked if the governor thinks it should take an audit before the state begins following the law, well, the governor's press office declined to answer. Also, the lieutenant governor's office didn't answer our written questions. Lucy, mm. Greg. Well, just like any political poll, they could always increase the, by the margin of error as opposed to subtracting it. It would be yeah. even worse. Could have been an option for him. All right, Mark, thanks. You're welcome.